Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for limits. Refers to the situation, find the limits when x approaching 4 for the function 4 minus x over x squared minus x minus 12. So kindly substitute the value 4 into the function and we will obtain 0 over 0 where we call the in determinate form. So in order to solve this kind of situation, we have three strategy. Number one, multiply with the conjugate. Number two, factorization. Number three, long division. So for this kind of question, my suggestion would be factorization. So limits when x approaching 4 for the function 4 minus x over factorize the denominator and we will have x minus 4 multiply with x plus 3. Kindly modify the situation. Limits when x approaching 4, we can factor the negative for the numerator where we will have x minus 4 over x minus 4 multiply with x plus 3. Notice that we have a common terms so we can simplify. Rewrite the situation. Limits when x approaching 4 will have negative 1 over x plus 3. Substitute the value 4 and we will obtain negative 1 over 7. So Limits when x approaching 4 for the function 4 minus x over x squared minus x minus 12 and the value of y will be approaching negative 1 over 7. Question B. Find the limits when x approaching negative 3 for the function x plus 3 over 2 minus square root of x plus 7. So kindly substitute the value negative 3 into the function and we will obtain 0 over 2 minus square root of negative 3 plus 7. So if you notice that negative 3 plus 7, we will have 4. Then the square root of 4 is equal to 2. 2 minus 2 and we will obtain 0 over 0. Where we have the situation is in determinate. Form. So there are three strategies that can be used to solve this kind of situation. Number one, multiply with the conjugate. Number two, factorize the situation. Number three, long division. So my suggestion to this question would be multiply with the conjugate. So limits when x approaching negative three for the function x plus 3 over 2 minus square root of x plus 7. And the conjugate would be 2 plus square root of x plus 7 over 2 plus square root of x plus 7. So kindly take note, we only expand for one part. So which is the denominator? So rewrite the situation. Limits when x approaching negative 3, kindly expand the situation and we will have x plus 3 multiply with 2 plus square root of x plus 7 over. So kindly multiply 2 with the 2 and we will obtain 4. Next, 2 multiply with square root of x plus 7 and we will have plus 2 square root of x plus 7 followed by negative 2 square root of x plus 7 then finally we will have negative bracket x plus 7 if we multiply the square root of x plus 7 with another square root of x plus 7 so simplify the situation so limits when x approaching negative 3, x plus 3 
multiply with 2 plus square root of x plus 7 over if we simplify the situation and we will have 0 at this part then 4 minus x minus 7 rewrite the situation limits when x approaching negative 3 x plus 3 multiply with 2 plus square root of x plus 7 over so we will have negative x 4 minus 7 we will have negative 3 so I will factor the negative and we will have negative bracket x plus 3 so now we can simplify the situation because we have the common terms so rewrite the situation limits when x approaching negative 3 we have negative bracket 2 plus square root of x plus 7 kindly substitute the negative 3 and we will obtain negative 3 plus 7 we will have 4 square root of 4 we will obtain 2 2 plus 2 finally we will have negative 4 limits when x approaching negative 3 for the function x plus 3 over 2 minus square root of x plus 7 and the value of y is approaching negative 4. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.